All right, let's come on down to our backs. And if your inner thighs are really tight this morning, you can grab your blocks or pillows and place them underneath your thighs so that your knees don't fall out so much. Now I'm gonna take mine without my blocks. So bring the soles of your feet to touch with the knees fall open and then slowly roll your way down onto your back. Place your right hand on your belly, your left hand over your heart, through your upper chest. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale it out. Inhale, filling up the belly. Sending that breath to your chest. Maybe lengthen through the crown of the head a little bit more. And exhale everything out. Inhale, filling up. Maybe holding the breath at the top as long as you can. And exhaling out. Continue to breathe deep, deep breaths. Spinning your breath. Controlling your breath. In yoga, we can practice taking control of our breath so that whenever we have stressful times or times when our breathing or our heart rate gets rapid from whatever's going on around us, we can just take a few deep breaths. We've practiced it on our mat. We can use it off of our mat. With your next exhale, allow the shoulders to relax down on the mat. Soften the throat. Soften the jaw. And when you're ready, let's slowly bring the knees in towards each other, maybe assisting them with your hands. And let's bring the knees to your chest and give them a good squeeze. Rock side to side. Let's take an early happy baby so your hips may not open as much this morning just yet. Grabbing the outsides of the feet or the big toes of your peace fingers. And open up the hips and assist the feet to draw closer down to the mat while the soles of your feet are facing up. Knees have a really good bend. You can rock side to side, playing around like a baby would on the ground, finding their feet. And then release your feet to the mat. If you have a strap, grab one and remove the socks. And we're going to go ahead and place it around the ball of your right foot. Again, you don't have to use a strap here. You can just grab your right hamstring on the loop here. Here we go. And keep the left foot place on the mat. Extend the right leg towards the sky and then draw the pelvis down towards the tailbone, down towards the top of the mat, closer to the ground so your foot might shift farther out. And then we're going to slowly cross that right foot over to the left side, pausing at a diagonal here. 
And then I want you to draw that right hip down towards the mat. You might feel a little bit of stretch in that hip. And then draw it back up to center, cross it over your left knee, and bring the knees in towards your chest in a supine pigeon. And release that down. And let's switch feet here. Wrapping around the ball of your left foot, extend that foot to the sky. Your right knee is bent. And then draw the tailbone down towards the top of the mat. And slowly exhale, cross that left foot over, pausing right whenever your left hip begins to lift up. And try to get it back down towards the mat so you feel a good stretch. Breathe here. And then cross that left foot over the right knee and reach around and grab your legs, throw them in towards your chest. You can grab your hamstring or hang on to your shin, whatever feels comfortable for you, helps you go. Feel it a little bit deeper where it feels good. And then release those feet. And let's take another happy baby, grabbing the outside of the feet. Draw those knees down towards the ground, opening the hips up. And then bring the knees towards your chest, and we're going to rock up to a seated position facing the front. Kind of fun rocking back and forth. And we're going to take Gokasana, so our little cow pose seated here. Our knees are going to stack on top of each other. The feet are out wide, so you can um, come into a regular seated position um, if you would like to, if, that's, if this is a little bit too much here. Your top leg. You're going to try to shimmy that foot further back to where they're in line with the, each other. My daughter just walked in. The tooth fairy gave her $20 last night. Show everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then try to get both foot bones down on the mat here. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. And then exhale, place that right hand down on the mat and take an easy side bend here, reaching that left arm up and over. And then inhale through center and slowly walk the hands forward, gently folding over. This is where you might feel a really intense stretch. With each exhale, maybe folding a little bit more. And then walk it in. Let's extend both legs out forward, just shaking it out, bending the knees. Yeah, let's switch sides, cross the other leg on top, stacking those knees. Maybe you gotta rock your hips side to side, finding that sweet spot. And sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, release the left arm down out wide. And reach that right arm up and over for a side stretch. Pressing into that left hand to help keep your hips evenly connected. Inhale it back up. And slowly exhale as you walk your hands forward. This side's a little bit tighter. It's harder for me to get my knees stacked on this side. 
breathe into those hips. And let's swing it around, extending the legs out forward, giving them a good shake again. And let's come into our tabletop position. Stack the shoulders under the wrists, the hips over the knees here. And let's walk it out into a puppy pose. Walk your hands out, maybe bring your hands out wide. And exhale, melt the chest down. You can relax your chin on the mat or your forehead. Allow the underarms to come closer to the mat. With each exhale, your chest comes closer. And then inhale. Come forward all the way down onto your belly. Bring the fingers out wide and bend the elbows. Go ahead and feel that opening in your chest, your collarbones here. And then inhale, press into the ground as you peel the chest up. Exhale it down, releasing the forehead down. Inhale, peeling up. Take your gaze up so you feel that opening in your throat. Exhale it down one more time. Inhale, peeling up. Exhale it down. Keep the hands next to your sides and lift up into your tabletop position. Let's go through a couple rounds of cat and cow here. Inhale, draw up the belly. Exhale, round it out. Follow your pace of breath. Inhale, and exhale. One more round here. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round it out. And we're gonna meet in a neutral tabletop position. Send the hips over to the right. Just let them fall over and maybe take your gaze over your left shoulder. Finding your left foot back there. Inhale through center and exhale. Let the hips fall to the left. Keep your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale through center. Tuck the toes and lift up and back into downward facing dog. You can pedal those feet out, bending one knee, bending the other. Shifting the hips side to side. And then relax both heels down. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, bringing the shoulder blades down the back. Then the knees look to the top of your mat and make your way up. Maybe it takes a few steps. Bring the feet out nice and wide. Let's ragdoll here with a good bend in the knees. Maybe you sway a little bit further than you usually do side to side. Releasing the neck. And then release the hands down, heel to the feet right underneath your hips. Bend the knees and roll all the way up to standing. Undress if you need to. And let's inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Pausing here for a moment. Pull the shoulders down the back. Tuck that pelvis under. Just going to move the tailbone down. And the belly button comes in. And inhale. Reach the arms up to the sky. Bring the pointer fingers to touch. And exhale. Crescent to the right. And allow your hips to just fall to the other side. You can take your gaze straight forward or up. Inhale through center and exhale to the other side. Allow those hips to sway past your feet. 
breathing. Inhale through center. And exhale, dive forward. Reach those arms out wide. And release all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold, hanging out here for a moment. Bring the toes to touch. You have a space between the heels, a soft bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into high plank. You can drop the knees down at any time, but let's pause here in our plank. Really lift up through the underarms, making a little bit of space between the shoulder blades. Lift the belly button in and up. And then exhale, drop the knees down. Chaturanga, bend the elbows, squeezing it in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Engaging the belly button. Lifting the neck away from the shoulders. And then drop the knees down, tuck the toes. Inhale, downward facing dog. Roll the head around. Find that space between your arms. Releasing. Inhale the right leg high for three legged dog. Open up the hips, bend that knee, and allow the foot to kind of fall behind you. Allowing the weight of your leg to open up your hips. And then square the hips back off. We're going to take pigeon legs or figure four. Cross that right foot right above the left knee. And then bend right here. Press into the hands to send your hips back. Feeling a stretch. Just like when we were laying on our back taking supine pigeon. But now we're in down dog. And then release that foot, step it through between your hands and walk that foot out wide, drop the knee down. Pausing here, allowing your hips to sink. And then if you want to take it further, if you're ready, with your exhale, lower down, maybe you come to your forearms. Now, even though this may seem like you're relaxing down on your forearms, I want you to draw your belly button up, draw your shoulders away from your ears and take your gaze out. You can allow that knee to fall open, flexing the right foot. right foot down, lift the chest up. We're going to take a quad stretch here. So leave the left hand down on the mat. Then that back knee and reach around with your right hand and grab the outside of that foot. Open up the shoulder. Maybe you take your gaze back. You can take it to the sky. And slowly release that foot down and heel to the feet back under, the foot back under, so that it's between both hands. Lift the back knee up, coming into a runner's lunge or a high lunge here. Inhale, press into the feet and lift all the way up into your crescent lunge. And exhale, release the hands down. Step back into your high plank with knees up or knees down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe here. Find whatever movement you need to in each of your down dogs to work out any of the extra tightness. Let's inhale the left leg high for three-legged dog and then open up the hips. Bend that knee and just allow the foot to fall behind you. Inhale, 
can square the hips back off. And we're going to take that figure four again, placing the left foot above the right knee this time. Bend that knee and then press into the hands to send your hips back. So you're kind of crouching down here, bringing your hips towards the back of the mat, towards your heel. And then release that foot, step it through on the outside of the left hand, heel to that foot out nice and wide, drop the back knee down. You can untuck those toes, pausing here for a moment. And then if you'd like to take it further, knowing this side might be different, with your next exhale, come down to the elbows. And again, let's not just drop the neck down, press into the elbows, open up the collarbone, draw the shoulders away from the ears and take your gaze out. And then lift the belly button up. And then inhale, press it up. Leave your right hand on the mat. Bend the back knee, reach around and grab onto the outside of that foot with your left hand. Open up the chest, feel that stretch in your quad. And then slowly release out of that. Lift the back knee up, and we're going to heel to that back foot underneath the body between the hands, coming into a high lunge here. And then press into the feet. Inhale, lift it up into a high crescent lunge. Exhale, release it down. Step back and go through your vinyasa flow. And meet a downward facing dog. <sighs> Releasing it down. And let's take full pigeon. Inhale, reach the right leg up. And exhale, send it through. Relaxing the knee open out wide. Flex the right toes. Heel to that back foot. So it's extended long. And if your right hip is up a little bit too high, place a block under there until your hips are released a little bit more. Take an inhale through the nose. And exhale, fold forward if you'd like to go further. Maybe stack your hands and release your forehead down. And inhale, slowly lift the chest up. And you can take another quad stretch or stay right here. Place your right hand down, bend the back knee, reach around with your left hand and open up. Your hips are still square to the front. You can take your gaze back or to the front. And slowly release that. Press into the hands, lifting that leg up. Come all the way back into three-legged dog and shake it out all the way to the ground. Releasing it back into your downward facing dog. And you can bend the knees, pedal the feet out. We're going to take sleeping pigeon on the other side. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, send that knee through, let it fall open. Flex those left toes to protect the knee. 
And extend that back leg as far as it can go. And when you're ready, exhale. Walk the hands out. You can either extend the arms out long and you get a really, really deep stretch or you can stack the hands. You can also come on top of the block. And just relax here for a few breaths. Slowly lift the chest up, taking that quad stretch if you'd like to on this side. Place the left hand down, bend the back knee. Reach around with your right hand, and we're grabbing the inside of that foot so you can open up the chest. If you were to grab here, it kind of closes it off to where your chest is going to stay forward. So it's really up to you, but I like to open up my chest as much as possible. And release that down. And lift the legs up. Bring that left leg all the way back up into a three-legged dog and shake it up. Releasing it down. And we're going to walk it in to center, coming into your final seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. You can sit on a block or just sit on your booty. Roll the shoulders back. Try to stack the shoulders right over your hips versus leaning forward or leaning too far back. And think about aligning your entire spine. So I'm going to guide us starting with your pelvic floor, your sit bones, finding that perfect balance there, that release on the ground. Coming up to your belly button, draw it in. Lifting up all the way to your ribs and the center of your chest, coming to your throat and then your forehead, and then lengthening all the way through the crown of the head. And you can go through that each time before you meditate or whenever you come down to your mat seated. Or if you're just seated at your desk anytime during the day, find that alignment, allowing your breath to flow all the way through. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, bring the palms to touch, and exhale, draw hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me this morning and for allowing me to be your guide in this nice hip opening, hip stretch. The light in me honors the life of love, beauty, joy, and peace in each of you. Namaste.